What's up, everyone? This is Tatum. I'm back with another episode of Tatum Takes. It's always fun when I'm doing a Tatum Takes because I get to just, uh, it's a little bit more free flowing than the review shows. And I just get to talk about current topics and things I got a problem with <laughs> or don't have a problem with. But uh, today we're back again. It's been a year since I did my last Grammy nominations reaction and this year's stack a couple rules changes to the grammys especially with the album of the year allowing more artists to be nominated uh, up to 10 i think so with this one i want to go through the nominations uh some things that stand out to me who i feel is going to be the biggest winner also see who i felt like got got left off you know what i mean it's always that grammys don't get it right every year do they so let's get into it before we get started make sure you hit that like button though make sure you hit that subscribe button uh follow me on all social media platforms at life is tatum yeah and just join the family man i'm t i do album reviews i do my vinyl collection go through my page and you'll find out good stuff on there but let's get into it this is the 64th of grammys that's crazy i'm on the grammys website so i'm just gonna go in the order of how they have it on here record of the year which I always have a there's certain categories in the Grammys that I just don't fully understand. Like they'll have, uh, for example, rap performance of the year, but rap record of the year. And I really don't know what's the distinction between the two. <laughs> record of the year, we have ABBA. Wow. Uh, and I like ABBA, but record of the year? ABBA's album wasn't bad, but I, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Uh, John Patisse Freedom. I gotta check this album out because he has like 11 nominations this year and it's uh the grammys is always good for that giving me that artist that uh, i have no clue who they are and they get all these sweeping nominations tony bennett and lady gaga i get a kick out of you uh peaches by justin bieber it seemed like justin bieber label universal submitted him for every single thing they could have i would have thought whiz kid would have been nominated i would have thought whiz kid would have been nominated uh for record of the year at least song of the year if he's not nominated for song of the year but justin bieber peaches got nominated i don't know right on time brandy carly 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 i think that's how you pronounce it kiss me more doja cat featuring scissor doja cat man if she doesn't like i have a feeling this is going to be doja's year at the grammys i really do uh happy than ever billy eilish uh little nas x montario Drives license, Olivia Rodrigo, and leave the door open. Silk Sonic. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm going to go with Kiss It More by Doja, or I'm going to go with Leave the Door Open. <laughs> that, that, that record is just amazing. How big that record was this year? Come on now. Album of the Year. Woo. This is this one is packed because they allow, like I said, allow more artists to be nominated. So it's literally 10 albums that that they have to choose from from album of the year which i think is like a lot we are john batiste uh still got to check that out tony tony bennett and lady gaga justin bieber justice doja cat planet her that's it's planet her is literally one of my favorite albums from this year happier than ever billy eilish how did her get nominated for album of the year? come on now come on now I'm calling red flag here. And I love her. Don't get me wrong. This is not a knock against her at all. But that album wasn't. Little Nas X, Monterio. And this list is long. Uh, <laughs> Sour by Olivia Rodrigo. Evermore, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift always going to get in there. And Donda by Kanye West. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is a tough one. I think only the real contenders, really. Doja Cat, Kanye. And they might try to sneak Taylor in there. But I think my pick for this, I'm going with Donda. I think uh, just musically, I think it's better than everything else that's on here. And it's the first rap album in, since I think Speaker Box Love Below 18 years ago that's been nominated for album of the year, which is just ridiculous that there's there hasn't been a rap album that... Well, no, no, no. I'll take that back. Because I think Damn in uh, 444 was nominated for record. Was it record? Somebody fact check me on that. I think uh, Kendrick, Damn, and Hove 444 was nominated for album of the year as well. I might be wrong, but yeah, I don't think anyone's... The thing is, I don't think any rap artist has won that since Speaker Box Level Up. I know that for a fact. Yeah, but I think Donda just... Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, it's Kanye's comeback. Year. Let me just try to speed through this. What the hell? Song of the Year, Bad Habits, Ed Sheeran, Alicia Keys, Brandy, Beautiful, A Beautiful Noise, Driver's License, Olivia Rodrigo. 
I'm just I'm just gonna admit that I'm obviously not an Olivia Rodrigo's uh fan base. Like it's it's I don't even I didn't even know she was this big. I just see her name on Billboard's top ten every week. <laughs> so I'm like, she must be doing really good. Fight for you, happier than ever, Billy Eilish, kiss it more, leave the door open, Montero Peaches, right on time. It even had to be leave the door open or kiss it more. I really think it's Doja's year, man. Even though that Little Nas X song was big too. Let me see. Let me look at these best new artists. I know Baby King, The Kid Leroy, Olivia Rodrigo <laughs> again. <laughs> and Sweetie. Obviously, Olivia Rodrigo is going to win that. Yeah, she has to win that, right? She got the biggest record. Best pop solo, Justin Bieber, anyone. Right on time again. Wow. Uh, Billie Eilish, Ariana Grande, Positions, Driver's License. Olivia Rodrigo, her label submitted her for everything too. <laughs> I don't really care about pop duo, care about pop, I don't care about none of this pop stuff. Even though I do see a lot of the pop stuff is literally the same names. Justin Bieber, uh, Doja Cat, Olivia Rodrigo, Ariana Grande, Billie Eilish. It's literally those artists. They're duking it out for all those records. I see best rock songs, but I'm like, like Kings of Leon, Weezer, Paul McCartney's nominated for best rock song? Okay, Paul. <laughs> uh foo fighters okay i haven't heard any of these on comments if any of these rock albums that's nominated for rock album of the year or rock song let me know in the comments y'all check them out uh best rock album acdc black pumas uh chris cornell foo fighters and paul mccartney three whoa it's crazy like the first mccartney came out in, like the late 60s 1970 and the third one's just coming out in 2021 <laughs> best r&b let me see did yabba get a nod this is best R&B performance. Lost Shoes, Snow Allegra, Peaches by Justin Bieber, Her Damage, Silk Sonic, Leave the Door Open, Jasmine Sullivan, Pick Up Your Feelings. Okay, I like that. They're probably going to get out of Silk Sonic and Leave the Door Open. Uh, yeah. And I like a, but I like Pick Up Your Feelings. I like Lost Shoes by Snow Allegra. But I'm going to put my money on Leave the Door Open. I, I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to be. Best traditional R&B performance. Lucky Day. Yeah, I was there for that. Huh. Her fight for fight for you, John Batiste. I need you. I really need to check out this album. B J the Chicago Kid. Best R and B song. Her damage. Scissor good days. That's good. Lead the door open again and pick up your feelings again. Wow. I would give that one a. What is it? Aren't best R and B song? I feel like I'm just giving them all to Bruno. <laughs> it's still Sonic, but maybe pick. It'll be nice if Jasmine got that one. I'm gonna put my money on Jasmine on that with Jasmine Sullivan just because I want her to win that. Progressive R&B album, Eric Bellinger, Corey Henry, Lucky Day, and Terrence Martin. Okay. Uh, here we go. Best R&B albums. This is the one I was looking for. We have Snow Allegra, Timber Ray Highs, and Violent Skies, John Batiste, We Are, Jesus, uh, Leon Bridges, Gold Digger Sound. Haven't heard that one. Back of My Mind, Her, and Hotels by Jasmine Sullivan. Wow. No Yabba. Okay. That's Did her out? No, they couldn't have. They had to submit it. Best R&B album, I'm going to go with Jasmine Sullivan. I enjoyed that one out of the ones, out of the three that I heard in this category. <laughs> Best rap performance, we got Baby Keem, Family Ties featuring Kendrick, Up, Cardi B, J. Cole featuring 21 Savage, My Life, Way Too Sexy, Drake, and Thought Shit, Megan Thee Stallion. Hmm. My gut tells me it's Up by Cardi B just because that, that song was just really huge. Way Too Sexy was too. But I would love for Baby Keem to win for Family Ties. Like, that song was just so dope. Like, it, it was something new. It was something refreshing. And we got that Kendrick verse. It's, But I think they're going to give it to Cardi B for sure. Best melodic rap performance, which means rappers are singing too much nowadays. Let's create another <laughs> another category. Um, J. Cole featuring Little Baby. Pride is the Devil. Mm. Doja Cat Need to Know. Yeah. Uh, Little Nas X featuring Jack Harlow, Industry Baby, and that might win. Wish Your Name, Tyler Creator, and Hurricanes by Kanye West featuring The Weeknd and Little Baby. Um, I would want Hurricanes to win, but my two picks need to know Doja Cat because that's my favorite song on that her last album, and Kanye West Hurricanes. But I'm pretty sure they might give that to little nas x industry baby that song is just dun 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 it's just yeah it's a big record best rap song bath saw dmx eh, okay rp dmx but okay it's funny that 
DMX at the height of his career didn't get these nominations or wins or anything like that or even put, I don't even think DMX ever performed at the Grammys but after his passing now they want to nominate him and weird best friend by Sweetie and Doja Cat okay what is this wait best rap song Bath Salt by DMX, Best Friend by Sweetie, Family Ties Again, Baby King, Jail. Wow, Kanye West and Jay-Z. I wouldn't even consider Jail a rap song, though. I like the J. Cole record, but it is just a lot part two, so I'm going to go with Family Ties. Best rap album, here we are. J. Cole, The Off Season, Drake, Certified Lover Boy, Nas, King, Disease 2, Tyler, Creator, Call Me If You Get Lost, and Kanye West, Donda. Hmm, this is a tough one. This is a, actually a good category. I think... Compared to last year, where the Grammy seemed like they just went OC underground for the rap album of the year, I don't see Nas winning. Just because he won it last year, he's not going to win off. No. Uh, Call Me If You Get Lost is a good one. It's between Donda and Call Me If You Get Lost. Yeah. But Tyler won it the year before last, so I doubt. Yeah, I think it's like. Unless the Grammy pull the, you know, what the Grammys do, they'll pull the joint right, they'll pull the wool right over your eyes, like right before. Uh, I think this is Kanye's comeback year as far as awards and Grammys and things of that nature. And he's nominated for Album of the Year for Donda. So if if it's if it's good enough to be nominated for Album of the Year, it has to kind of win the Rap Album of the Year, if that makes sense. Yeah, but my bet's on Tyler or Kanye. Leaning towards Kanye. <laughs> but if Tyler wins off against the Grill mixtape, I think that's amazing too. All right, let's skip. I don't care about country. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. Sorry, I'm just trying to go through this and see anything else that I want to talk about. Best gospel. Nah. Okay, look at this. They have WizKid featuring Tim's Essence nominated for Best Global Music Performance, but that's it. Like, that record was probably one of the biggest records this year. See, these it's, it's things like this that kind of, like, mess me up. Like, what the f How did you miss that one? Like, how did you miss that one? But it's still a nod. It's still a Grammy nod, so I guess it's good. <laughs> I didn't even know it was an award for Best Children's Music Album. <laughs> best Comedy Album. Wow. Kevin Hart, Louis C.K., Chelsea Handler, Lavelle Carfield, Louis Black. Oh, David Chappelle is nominated for Spoken Word. Best Spoken Word Album. Wow. Best Song Written for Visual Media. They have Agatha All Along. <laughs> it was Agatha All Along. I think that's it. Everything else is just composers. Yeah, that's it. Best box. Look at this. Listen to this category before I get out of here. Best box or special limited edition packaging. Yeah, let me wrap this up. But all in all, I thought the Grammys, I thought they did good this year. Uh, besides the Yabba's not being in there for R&B, it's some other things. The WizKid thing. I know why Weekend's not there. Well, he's there for Hurricanes, but I know why nothing was submitted for him. I get why album of the year is 10 albums now, but it's kind of, how do you pick from that pool? I don't know. But all in all, I did like the nominations. I like majority of the picks they had. Uh, what's going to be the telling tale is who actually wins. Uh, like I said, I think this might be Doja's year. Uh, Justin Bieber has a lot, but I don't think he's going to win that much. He might win for Peaches. And that's another thing. Him being in the R in the R&B categories, how he could just tiptoe in and out of that when you know black artists can't really do that uh it rubs me the wrong way a little bit but yeah i just hope they i just hope they get it right for the most part i think that album of the year is going to be a big one my hope is that doja or Ye wins it just because i love both of those albums and i feel like we need a rap album of the year man come on man it, it's it's been too long. Let me know what you thought of this year's Grammy nominations. Let me know who was the who you thought was the biggest snubs. Uh, let me know who you think is going to be taking home some gold trophies that night. And uh, I can't wait to the year after next Grammys when Adele just comes in like a fucking wrecking ball and kills everything. <laughs> uh, that's all I got though. I just didn't want to. Uh, I just didn't want these nominations to come out and me not say anything about them. Uh, I appreciate you tuning in again. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all social media platforms at Life is Tatum. And, you know, look out for more content. As always, I'm Tatum. Thanks for watching. Peace. Peace.